Welcome to day one of Intersect 2020, the world's premier trade show for the security, safety and fire protection industries. 1,100 exhibitors from 56 countries this week at the Dubai World Trade Center. Um, I'm with uh, Paul Such, the Vice President of Sales for Europe, Middle East and Africa. Paul, uh, thank you for joining us today. Um, Avigilon, a Canadian company of course. Um, what have been the latest developments at Avigilon in the last year or so? So one of the biggest developments obviously was the, the being bought by Motorola. It enabled us to really showcase our products inside of a, a very strong global business that looks after security with police, um, call centers and so on. So it gives us a great footfall really of where the products can go, where they can go. So we have always been very, very strong with our artificial intelligence, video analytics and the, the software at the front end that goes with that. And tying that into some of the body-worn cameras and some of the in-vehicle technology and linking it of course with the Motorola command control center. So this, it must have been quite a, a, a bit of a process in that whole sort of acquisition, uh, was it? Of course, of course, but we, as a Vigilant, we have a very strong brand, we have a very strong product with the, you know, with the, the artificial intelligence, the video analytics and the cameras and the software platform, we have our own business and the, it really strengthens Motorola, which is great for us, it's a very strong symbiont relationship. Uh, quite a large stand here at Intersect 2020 and uh, quite a few highlights, so we um, have a look at uh, behind us here is one of the uh, the first ones, um, AI powered search and analytics, um, yeah. tell us what sort of applications would this be best for? So well, this is a facial detection system um, and we we look at um, people that have been on the video in the, in the first place, we identify their faces and we can, we can put them on a watch list. A, a great example of that is casinos, for example, in, in a lot of places. Um, legislation, people can self-occlude. Um, so you go to the casino, you say, I, don't let me in for a month. Um, we put them on the watch list. When they enter the environment, it flags up, sets an alarm, sets an alert. The artificial intelligence and the facial recognition says this person is not allowed to enter. So that's a great example. And, and of course, that spreads across into commercial sectors, into schools and into areas like that. And I guess retail as well, I suppose? Uh... Of course, absolutely. You know, the, the, we do a lot of business in um, shopping centers and shopping malls, really. And, you know, if you're on a watch list there, they want to know early if you're there. Uh, and then we, we, we evolve that further as well. So we have a parent search. So if we do identify a target, we can very, very quickly find known associates, people that you've traveled with, so we can look at the vehicle that you arrived in. We have automatic number plate recognition systems as well. So we, we have a, an artificial intelligence product called Appearance Search. So we can describe you or we can show a picture of you and our system will find very, very quickly every instance that you've been on that site over several months, all of the recording time, we can find where you've been, who you've been with, what vehicles you came in. And it gives you the ability to, to get the information you need very, very quickly and deliver the security results uh, that people need. Um, and what about, so what are you launching at Intersect 2020? Because I know you also have some new products here. Uh, yep. Should we go have a look at those? Sure, absolutely. So uh, the facial recognition is one of them, of course, and then we'll look at some of the new cameras. All right, so Paul, uh, video security and anal analytics, a new sort of feature at Intersect 2020. Uh, take us through it. Yeah, so we, we're continuing to launch the analytics in our new H5 series, which gives us much more powerful analytics. We have launched also this smaller external camera as well for a smaller footprint that delivers us the analytics but also something called unusual motion detection. So when you think about a security environment and you may have two, three thousand cameras, an operator can only see certain cameras and analytics will bring incidents and events to their attention and focus their attention very, very quickly. What unusual motion detection does, it analyzes a scene in areas where you may not look at cameras. So maybe you have a walkway at the back or you have a corridor that you would normally not look at the, the image. Unusual motion detection will analyze the scene and tell you if somebody was running or somebody has put a ladder up and normally you would miss that information. So what it does, it brings that to the people's focus of attention. Quite good in airports. I mean, it's supposed to be good in any kind of application, wouldn't it? Absolutely, indeed. And, and, it, and it stops people missing the, the incidents. And quite often what we found is that it's identifying security risks that the end user wasn't aware of because it was a camera that they wouldn't, maybe wouldn't have looked at. They wouldn't have expected somebody to be parking in that location or driving the wrong way in a logistics factory, for example. So these would have been missed. And what we do with this, we bring it to the focus of attention. In this Middle East region, obviously a vigilant global company, presence all across the world. Um, the Middle East region is quite a good market. So is it, how is, is it a decent market for you? Is, is oh, business growing here? Fantastic market, yeah. 
We have a we have a great footprint. We uh, we sell both the software and the cameras. We do a huge amount of integration work with some of our um, our partners. You know, when we're looking at uh, P Sims, we need to bring in fire systems and building management. So we do we do a huge amount of integration. So that's it's massive of integration of uh, yeah PSIM and yeah. access control, CCTV network surveillance, everything, isn't it? Um, Expo 2020, of course, is just around the corner. That's eight months or so um, in Dubai. Um, how has that, uh, have you uh, had any projects around that or is that something that you're sort of looking at? Yeah, sure. I mean, we've, uh, of course, everybody has been bidding for every project and it's it's great to see that the market is so buoyant. You know, and the fact that um, there's so much technology that the, the public wants and the public needs for their for their safety. And we, we, we have some projects in there, particularly with the Canadian Pavilion. Um, obviously, we're in a Canadian company and it... Makes sense, right? It yeah. always <laughs> helps, right? It always helps. It's good. Um, at Intersec, um, I know it's obviously a busy stand here uh, already in the first day, uh, looks quite busy. Um, are you getting enough end users in, in your stand? Well, that's our drive, actually. You know, the, the Vigilant product, we, we like to engage with end users. You engage with end users, and my mantra as a, a salesperson is, what challenges are your business facing? Where is technology failing you? And what's the cost of your business should that technology fail? So rather than a traditional method of showing products or showing cameras, understand the, the challenges that an end user faces and then explain how Vigilon and some of the Motorola solutions products can really help with that environment. At the end of the day, it's not just about security, it's about bottom line results, isn't it? Especially in the retail or... You Absolutely, know. and it's, it's about protecting and enabling as well. You know, we're, we're looking at safe cities, for example. There's a, there's a huge drive to make visitors, to make people feel safe. And that's where the analytics come in, the unusual motion detection, the artificial intelligence. It's about focusing the attention of the operator. And focus of attention is actually a software that we've launched in ours. So it gives you a honeycomb display rather than videos popping up that shows you the type of incident and where the incident is. And it's very, very quick and very, very responsive for the operators. If we were to talk about various end users that could come to the show and meet you here at Intersec 2020, who would you ideally like to meet? Well, we, we always love working with the, the police forces, uh, the army, but very much commercial sectors as well. You know, when we, when we look at the offering of a Vigilon, right, from end to end and include the Motorola. So we're talking retail, education, healthcare. Yeah, we, we, we don't have a sector that we're yes. specific in. We, we encompass all of them. We move right across all. And we have offerings and solutions that can help every, every sector. Good luck with the rest of the show. Thank you very much for your time. Thank you very much.